Hello everyone, welcome into another edition of Book Look. And yeah, not quite a book, but this is where I look at things that I've gotten either used or new, books to look through that involve crochet, and um, whether they might be worth it or not to us. Let's take a look. And yes, you are right, your eyes are not deceiving you. This is more than just a book, it is a kit. And I got this off of the used bookstore used bookstore a books um it was 10.98 but i had to deal with free shipping and i had a coupon at the time i've had this for some time now this is called crochet cats 10 adorable projects for cat lovers and if you'll notice there is some yarn in here okay there is also there are also safety eyes and little safety noses yes because you know kitties have noses and a yarn needle and a crochet hook this is a 3.75 millimeter crochet hook so there is that I'm gonna stick that back in here so I don't lose it there is some yarn this feels like acrylic um, just different colors for these two cats because the book makes these two cats and yes I have already looked through here and put some sticky notes in here for myself this is by Megan Craner 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 and look at that. Look, you can make this with this book. Yes. Let's see when this originally came out. 2018. So this is not an old, old, you know, thing here. 2018. Now this is about 80 pages in here. Uh, manufactured, printed, and assembled in Hishan, China. Okay. There's a table of contents that tells you about each of the kitties in there. Okay. First, you get some tools and materials, crochet stitches, techniques, finishing stitches, a Burman kitten, orange tabby, Bombay, Persian, Sphinx, Munchkin, exotic short hair, Bengal, Abyssinian, Chartreux, some abbreviations, a dedication, acknowledgement, and about the author. But they do go through uh, what you need for your supplies, you know, automatic pencil and sticky notes. I love that. They tell you you need a pencil. Okay. Some crochet stitches, which for Amigurumi, you don't need a ton of stitches. So that's pretty awesome. They are giving you this information though. Double crochet, single crochet decrease, and they give you the abbreviations as well. Back loops, front loops. There are some techniques. Oh, and look at the kitty. The kitty that is missing a leg so far. They have to put the leg on. Because with Emmys, you do have to sew the legs on. Finishing stitches, closing round holes, different tips about uh, making your cats fuzzier or not, or the tails, or the ears, um, how to do an embroidered nose if you don't want to use a safety nose. Okay, safety nose. It just sounds like such a weird thing, doesn't it? Um, how to do the little lip cleft because you know cats do have bifurcated lips this is the Berman kitten isn't this adorable okay and it tells you it shows you how to put the little face together a lot of little tips and tricks on how to put this together I'm not going to give you all the patterns obviously because this is something you have to go buy but look Orange tabby, isn't that adorable? And I would think as well, you could use some of these poses and some of these patterns and personalize the kitty to look like your kitty or look like a friend's kitty. Look at this, look at the Bombay. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Tell, you know, back legs, front legs. It gives you all the bits and pieces and bobs. Look at the Persian, look at the fuzziness. Yes, you do make the Persian fuzzier because you brush the kitty. Yes, you do. And if you have a Persian, you know, you will be brushing that kitty all the time. You'll be brushing this one though, the Sphinx. Hmm. Nope. They just have sort of peach fuzz for fur. That's it. But they are so sweet. I think they're cute. Some people are like off put by their lack of fuzzy fuzzy. But look at that little guy. The munchkin, yes, the munchkins uh, have short legs, and you may have seen munchkin cats on the internet if you don't have one. Um, it's because of selective breeding that they've done that and made the cats very, very short. But look at that cute little bugger there, I'm trying to get out of the glare. Exotic short hair, smooshed face, 
upturned lip. Oh yes, the exotic short hairs are definitely, they are cute little squishy fuzzballs. It also gives you lots of tips and tricks on each one of these on how to put it together and how to make it shape properly. The bangle. Okay, let's try to get out of that glare. Look at that. Oh, sweet stripy bangle. Don't know where my kitty is right now. For once, he's letting me actually sit here and record a video and not trying to be part of it. <laughs> the Abyssinian. A napping Abyssinian. Abyssinians usually have quite big ears for their size. Very pointed up top ears. Just beautiful cats. All the different bits and pieces on how to put that little guy together. The Chartreux. Playing with a ball of yarn. Mm-hmm. Do your cats try to take over your yarn? Mine does sometimes. I have project bags all over the place. I have to keep stuff sealed up because he wants to play. He wants to, like this little guy, wants to play. He wants to be all up in there. Here's a page of abbreviations um, so that you know what, what the little bits and bobs and the patterns mean. There's a dedication here to Bella and Max, and I'm guessing those are probably her kitties. I'm just saying. A little bit about the author and some acknowledgments about this. Oh, look at that sweet picture on the back. But yeah, I got this at A Books. Now, when you go to A Books, you have to search. Sometimes you'll find uh, pattern uh, kits like this, and sometimes you won't. But uh, I have seen a lot of really cute patterns. Matter of fact, I gave a kit away that I had gotten um, in a recent giveaway that I had. And by recent, I mean, it was my 500 subscriber giveaway. I, I tucked it in that box because I thought it was really cool. And I thought it was a fun little gift to give out. This back here is just, oh, hang on. There is more underneath here. I always forget about this. Some very, very shrink wrapped <laughs> stuffing. You don't have to provide your own stuffing. This stuff is shrink wrapped tight, but it is like polyfill stuff. I have a bag of polyfill that I have open all the time. I'd probably save this for a rainy day, but yeah. You really do get everything that you need in this kit, all the way down to the crochet hook. So you don't get scissors though. I mean, I suppose you would need to provide your own scissors to cut your yarn, but yeah. Looks like it's a pretty good deal to me. I have not tried to work any of these patterns and I'm not the best at following patterns. Just, you know, put that out there. But I am going to try to make this and I've already had a request. The hubby wants me to make one that looked like our uh, our sweet Ivan that we had. That was his little cat and, and the cat chose him. Cats choose their people, you know, in case you didn't know. So I've got to work on my amigurumi skills and then I will work on this. But just another sort of book look and kit look at the same time. Thanks for coming by. I appreciate you spending some time with me today. Uh, if you would, please hit that like button on your way out. And if you're not subscribed already, I invite you to do so. Check the description box down below for any and all information I may have missed about this and maybe some more specifics. And I will see you next time. Bye, y'all.